Hi, welcome to my show. Hi, I am Sarah. Hi friends, we'd like to thank you today for joining us on Sarah's Great Day. Sarah, you had a big week this week. What happened? I have her YouTube channel. Sarah got her own YouTube channel. It's called Sarah's Great Day. And all you have to do to subscribe is go on to youtube.com and um, type in Sarah's Great Day in the search engine at the top of the screen. And there'll be a little icon there that says uh, subscribe and you become a member of Sarah's channel. And you will actually get the episodes before they even come up on my website. So we would love you to um, become part of our team. And so Sarah, what are we gonna make today? Uh, we're gonna make a butter squash soup. Butternut squash soup, okay. And this is what it looks like. And you might be going, mm, I don't like squash. Well, my family does not like squash, but they truly enjoy this soup. And when I was putting together the script for today, I said, you know, should we really do butternut squash soup? Because I don't know very many kids that like it. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. And, and I thought about how our kids can kind of get stuck into food ruts. And so Sarah would eat chicken nuggets or chicken parmesan for every single meal if I'd let her. And so we need to be intentional and introduce um, these really good foods to our kids so that when they grow up, they will actually eat them. Sarah, what did you try last night of mom's? Um, I tried the Hushi tuna. The ahi tuna. And did you like it? Yeah. Yeah. We've had calamari, um, tons of different vegetables. Mm -hmm. And Sarah really likes them all. And I think it's because we put them in front of her from the beginning. And she didn't always eat them, but now you pretty much do anything, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's get started. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is a butternut squash, right? Mm -hmm. And you've probably seen them in the produce section mm -hmm. in your supermarket. They come out in the fall. They are so full of nutrients. They have, um, one cup has 50% of vitamin C requirements. They're orange, so they have that beta carotene, which turns into vitamin A. Um, it, you know, full of fiber. Um, they're just really, really good. Potassium, which is good for bone density. So this is what they look like. Now, the problem is they're a really odd shape and they are very, very hard to peel and ugh, even harder to cut. And this week I actually cut myself trying to cut one of these. So what you can get now is you can get it already cut up. And so that's what we're going to do because if I can't cut a butternut squash, you probably can't cut a butternut squash, can you? No. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start with four cups of butternut squash. Sarah, would you like to cut open our bags? Okay, well, we'll do it like that. Okay. Nice cutting. Great cutting skills. Okay, you want to get another bag? Okay. If you do happen to cut your own butternut squash because you want to do that, um, you need to make them like the size of quarters. And when people say that, they mean like that big, just like a quarter. So, and usually about the size of butternut squash that I showed you in the beginning is gonna give you about four cups, maybe a little bit more. And I think we're done, Sarah. I don't even think we need any more. I think that's four cups and I think we're good. Okay, so. 
Let's get our pan. You want to get a big um, Dutch oven pan. This is mine from when I got married, so it, it's kind of beat up, but it, it's had she lots of love. my dad. I did marry your dad. <laughs> okay, can you pour that in? Mm -hmm. It's kind of heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to use this to get out the extras? Thank you. Look at I you. I use that this pan. Yeah, who gave me that for Christmas? Uh. Who gave me that? Mom. No, you gave me that, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's four cups of butternut squash. There you go. Now, um, we want to add some sweetness to the soup. Um, and also, we're getting in some you know, additional nutrients, too. So we are going to add pears, because they're nice and ripe this time of year. But you could add apple. Um, sweet potato. You could do anything like that. So, Sarah, what I am going to do mm -hmm. is I am going to, and I think I'm going to move this. And this is probably the easiest way to cut a pear is to just kind of go in corners around it. Okay. And we're going to put in two pears. And look for ones that are ripe. They've, the ones that are ripe kind of have this nice red color on them. They're a little bit gentle when you squeeze them, right? Okay. And then I'm going to cut these in strips, and Sarah is going to cut them into chunks, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll take some of these for you, because that's a lot to okay. cut. And we have our favorite knife, don't we? Yeah. 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 And I'm going to help Sarah. You have your favorite chopping board too, don't you? Yeah. And these again, you know, pears are going to cook right away, so, you know, it doesn't really matter what size they are. I'm going to put mine in here. How are you doing? Good. And I'm also going to take one, a half of one large sweet onion. Now, if you noticed, Vidalia onions do not come out till the spring. So the best that you can do is get a sweet onion. And again, it doesn't have to be, oop, I dropped some. It doesn't have to be cut super small. And we're going to put that in there. The soup is so good. It is so healthy for you. Okay, how you doing there? Look how nice your chunks are, Sarah. Mm-hmm. When we were um, dealing with Sarah not wanting to eat dinner, which was a long, long time ago, mm -hmm. when you were like three, um, we um, enlisted the help of Steve O'Dor at Tangram, and they're actually one of our sponsors. And he just gave us some really good and creative ideas. And today, you're a full-fledged eater, aren't you? No, I'm not. No, you're not. <laughs> Okay, does that hurt your feelings? But you like to eat food, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Okay. Okay, Sarah, would you like to use your handy dandy um, tool? Your uh, chopping board that you like it has sure. the nice edges on it so you can, they don't fall off. And you can actually order this right off of our website. And a lot of the tools that we use on here so I make it easy for you okay so now we're done with all the chopping and what we want to do Sarah is we want to add one bay leaf this is a bay leaf and it's really hard isn't it mm -hmm. sharp so you want to make sure you take it out before you blend the soup right because mm -hmm. that's not good for you Okay, Sarah, so can you throw that in there? 
And then we're going to take one teaspoon of thyme. And this is mm -hmm. actually from my mom's company. Wow, mom. Her spices, Grandma Susie's company. Mm -hmm. They're so yummy. Now remember, we want it level. Perfect. We're going to sprinkle that around. Okay. And then we are going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. <laughs> you want to do some pepper, girl? Yeah. I'll do the salt. Okay. Just a couple little sprinkles of kosher salt. You can always add more. You can't take it out, so be lenient. Look at you. You become the pepper mill girl, mm -hmm. haven't you? Yeah. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. And then get a 32 ounce box of chicken Skip broth. Off. Yeah, and we're just going to put enough in just to barely cover. And maybe you guys can. I think we put a lot of stuff in there today, didn't we? Okay. Yep. And you really just want it to barely cover the vegetables and the fruit. Actually, um, Butternut squash has seeds, so it's a fruit. But we do have the onions. They're a vegetable, aren't they? Okay, you ready? And what you're going to do is you're going to cook this um, on the stove okay. on high Aye. to get it boiling Aye. for about 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, until the butternut squash gets soft. Okay. And we've already done it. Here, if you want to get a picture of that. And you can see that most of the broth has cooked away. Right, Sarah? Mm -hmm. And so this is something really fun to do. Well, first we're going to get rid of the bay leaf. Yucky. And Sarah, you want to take this potato masher and mash the butternut? Get down really deep. If you have to, use two hands. So Sarah's going to get it started for me because I'm going to do the immersion blender, which is basically like having a little blender, a portable blender. It's disgusting. Sarah. It's disgusting. <laughs> That's the most disgusting soup ever. I don't know. I think it's good to have kids um, help you make what they consider to be the most disgusting soup ever, so they'll actually try it. And this is an immersion blender, Ooh. and uh, it's got a little blade on the bottom. Ooh. Do not do this with hot soup because it will splash on you. So kind of let your, um, your vegetables cool down, and then we're just going to go like that. Isn't that neat, Sarah? Yeah. yeah. Sarah, you want to help me? Yeah, I think it was this. Sarah's not feeling the greatest today, so. Okay. Until you get at the consistency that you like. Okay, and then okay. let me get my hot pads. Okay. Come here, Sarah. Come and do you want to get back to over to your spot? And this is what the consistency is at this point. And it's kind of mushy. It doesn't look as good as this yet. Okay. Sarah, can you help me with something? We're going to add now, we're going to add a half a cup. Come on over here. You really, oh, right here, hon. Do you want to come right here? I'm with you. Okay, okay. We're going to switch sides. Okay, do it over the bowl. So if you spill it, 
Very good, Sarah. So we're doing a half a cup, oh, all the way to the top. So put a little bit more in there. There you go, good, perfect, stop, stop. Okay, and we are also, <laughs> disgusting soup. She's not helping me sell this to your kids, is she? And then we're also going no, to take- Mom, it is my stomach. It's your stomach, okay. And we're going to take a what? Quarter mm. teaspoon mm. of nutmeg. Can you tell how much she wants to do this this week? Okay, we're gonna sprinkle that. And that just adds some really, some warmth to it. And then, where's our spoon? Can you get our big wooden spoon? And when you wanna stir that up? And, and oh, oh, no. oh, can you not stand the smell of it? Is that the problem? It is, until you get the cream and the nutmeg in it, it might not be the nicest smelling. Okay, and so Sarah, come here. <laughs> Sarah Stroll, come here. Okay, we're just gonna finish this up. Okay, and what we have when we mix that all together is butternut squash soup. So Sarah, are you going to try it with me? No. You're not? Okay. I'm going to have some bread. You're going to have some bread, though? And some butter. And some butter. Okay. So what it's really good, the cream is going to add <laughs> some heaviness to it so you don't feel like you just mm -hmm. ate nothing. Um, but it's really nice. You can good. serve it with a salad <laughs> and some bread and butter. Come here, Sarah. Come by Mom. Okay. And I will get you your bread and butter. So there's no way that you're gonna try this, right? No, it's gross. <laughs> okay, so there is your bread and butter. Thank you. I am gonna try it, because I think it's good. Mm. Mm. Now, oh, the soup is good? Or the bread and butter? Bread. Okay, when we did this earlier this week, she ate two bowls of the soup, so it really truly is good. My husband loves it and he does not like squash. So make sure you go to unitedmedianow.com, download the recipe for butternut squash soup. <laughs> and this is the goofiest episode we have ever done. Sarah, is this a good day or a great day? I don't know, was it a great day? Cause you don't feel good? Great day. It was still a great day. Thank you for joining us. Come on, let's eat. Our sponsors. Um. Thank you, our sponsors. And who would you like to thank? Uh, I thank all to my friend Melissa, Madison, and Faith. Those are your friends that you're thankful for. Yeah. And we are also thankful for our sponsors, for DK New Media, for Tangram and for Lee Supply. Thanks so much for supporting Sarah's great day. Thanks.